Hello everybody, this is Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. Today we're going to be doing a toy review or figure review. And today's review is of the Lost World Jurassic Park Bull T-Rex by Kenner. The only word that I can describe this toy what the heck is that? It's amazing. There's no other way to describe it. It's just an amazing figurine, and there are so many things to go over. First, let's talk about how I found it. So, um, I'm in West Virginia right now, but a couple of months ago, we came here before now to visit with my aunt and my uncle, which is whose house I'm at right now. So, after we, after we were done visiting them, my mom wanted to stop by an antique store that was near, near us on the way back so I decided to look at the antique figurines and toys and G.I. Joe's so I wasn't expecting to see anything Jurassic Park uh, since it's an antique store I was expecting like these 70s type toys but um, I stumbled across this and when I saw it I almost pooped myself like I was so happy because my uncle had given me fifty dollars and Believe it or not, this only cost $30. It's because online, the cheapest price that I've ever found for this thing online is at least $100. And that's pretty expensive for an average American person. And so I was really happy. And then my mom came over and I was like, are you kidding me, Tony? You have an ocean of dinosaurs in your room. And I was like, oh, come on. This one is the holy grail of of Jurassic Park and the Lost World toys. She was like, oh, fine. <laughs> so I bought it, paid $30, and I had $20 left, and I bought some Kong Skull Island toys, uh, which I'll probably be reviewing pretty soon. So anyways, let's move on to the actual toy. The detailing is exquisite. The eye, it's a glass eye, which actually follows you. See, watch this. Like, you can see it, uh, the pupil actually follows you, so it looks like it's, it's... It's eyeing on you. So whatever you do, don't move it. It won't see you. I did not mean to activate the sound effects. But um, I'll go over that later. So the detailing, there's a bunch of little creases and crinkles. Like, Kenner did a really, really good job with um, detailing this thing. Because this thing is old. It's from 1997 when the film The Lost World Jurassic Park came out. And this is designed to look like the Buck T-Rex, the male Tyrannosaurus Rex from the movie. The coloring is not really that accurate. It's a little bit... If you want me to tell, me the, tr if you want me to tell the truth, the coloring is a tad bit cartoony looking. Wait, I'm getting off track. So, the sculpting on the neck, you can see a bunch of folds in the, it looks like you're touching a real reptile and it feels like it too. It's because this thing is made mostly of, of a kind of a plastic rubber. So, like, if you want to open the mouth, you can squeeze the neck and its mouth will open really wide. And, you, and if you press it like this, it'll close. And that looks really good. The, the, the only thing that has that's articulated is the forearms. The claws are sadly not painted, however they are on the feet. The claws and the arm, all of it, very, very nice. Very impressed. Um, the, you can see kind of armor plating on the, uh, on the back. The coloring on the back, it looks like a tiger. Or some type of striped animal. The other side, there's no screw holes like the plastic pieces of crap from Jurassic World toys. Well, they're not exactly pieces of crap. That's what a lot of people say. But the recent toys from 2015 for Jurassic World, those were crap. Again, I take that back. They weren't bad. They were okay. But n nowhere near as good as these toys right here. The, but if you notice right here... It's actually been sculpted, so you can see little ribs, which looks awesome. It looks, it looks and feels so cool. It feels like you're actually touching a real reptile, or since it's a dinosaur, a bird, because they're bird relatives. Believe it or not. 
The only little, the only little bit of paint chipping, paint chipping, is right here on the leg. It's like a little slash. That's not, it, but it's not too noticeable from this amazing figure. Now the legs right here are very similar to the red T-Rexes from the first Jurassic Park toy line. Um, they're plastic all the way to the knees. So this plastic, this is where it's probably the most detailed on the legs. Very, very, very exquisite. The, the feet are huge, actually. They look a little bit oversized, in my opinion, but this probably helps with it standing. Because it can stand very easily, even on carpet. So the, so the feet, look at all that detailing. That looks crazy. You wouldn't expect this to be a toy. I would, I would classify this as a collector's number one recommended figurine thing. Even the bottom of the feet has been very carefully sculpted and painted and it looks really good. The only thing is the claws that are not exactly detailed with creases but they still look good from a distance. There's a little, there, there are some stripes right here and there's the JP Site B logo. It's kind of faded over there. But the reason it says JP Site B, it's because this Tyrannosaur does not live, well, all you JP fans probably know this, but this Tyrannosaur and the movie it's in takes place on another island, not the island that Jurassic Park was on. So, yeah. Um, so let's now move on to the paint. Once again, it's slightly cartoony, but you can get used to it very easily. The paint, it's kind of a dark teal-ish blue, and that goes all the way to almost the tip of the tail. The tip of the tail is black. And the tip of the nose is the black. There is a little stream of black which which stripes and it goes all the way to the tail once again and there's this weird like disgusting stuff like this hair but that can easily be washed off and the good thing about this is it doesn't have the bent tail syndrome if you watch the movie if you watch the youtube channel jurassic collectibles he has a bull t-rex but his tail is bent it's because this thing's packaging it was too small for it so it was very hard to like um, fit this thing in without the tail being bent. But if you have one and it is bent, then just place it under some lukewarm or hot water and just play like kind of bend around a little bit and then you might actually soften out the kink. What, what's cool in this T-Rex, the one I have specifically, is there's sort of a dent in the leg right here hang on I'll show you there's sort of a dent in the leg it's kind of hard to tell on camera but that actually looks like a muscle flexing from the leg like since the leg this leg right here is more forward than this one it looks like the muscle is actually flexing which looks fantastic really really good toy this thing also has electronic features so this one's kind of faded out because it's very old but um, if you press right here It will roar, which um, it's 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 film accurate, so it actually sounds like it's the T Rex, the beast from the actual movie. And um, there's also a second sound if you hold it down. That's sort of a warning growl, and then if you hold it down even more, listen to this. That's sort of a chomping noise, so it sounds like it's actually eating actually eating something, which it's pretty cool and this also has a feature uh, like a gimmick so for example this is a Samuel L Jackson figure from Kong Skull Island I like the face print it actually looks like it's Samuel L Jackson but this does not come with bull T-Rex this is once again the Kong Skull Island 2017 toy line by Leonard not Kenner this I will show you as an example for the T-Rex's gimmick so it's feature, which is really cool and awesome. It can actually swallow human figures, but don't worry. There's a giant hole, like slot in the stomach. Looks like it's having surgery when, when it's busted open like this. 
and if you get your T-Rex and you didn't know the, like what the feature was, don't worry about this. It's because that is perfectly normal. So, if you squeeze the neck right here, its mouth will open ugh, really wide. You take Samuel L. Jackson, and it actually it's all it's hollow in there, so it actually swallows the figure. And if you open this up, it the figure, if you yeah the figure will come out if you can get it out. See, there you go. Samuel Jackson, good as new. That is actually a pretty cool feature. I really like it. And also, you don't have to make it swallow it. You can just make it look like it's chewing by squeezing its neck right here. So that was the review of the Lost World Site B. Well, I did not mean Site B. That was the review of the Kenner Jurassic Park Lost World Bull T-Rex figurine. A really nice figure. I would really recommend it. I like the little details on the teeth. Like it actually looks like it's been chipped like right here. It looks like it's because it's been eating a lot of meat. And, I, and like it looks like the teeth have been chipped off in some spots to make it look more realistic. So that was the review of this awesome Tyrannosaurus Rex toy. I really recommend it. For your kids if, if you have any kids and you're an adult watching this right now find this online it's um i think a mint like usually a price you'd find it for is about let's say 140 dollars oh and also in the set um from the actual movie this thing actually comes with a i think a person in a it's a person in a a cage and actually you can swallow the cage and there's also these little like hooks you can split out so it, the cage, the T-Rex can't swallow the human in the cage. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd really recommend getting this.